Welcome to this introductory or 101 course for those wanting to learn more about the foundational concepts on health data. Here you will get to explore more about the basics of health data in terms of creating, using and analysing it. This short course is exclusively for you. In this course, we will get started with learning about what is real-world data, what is real-world evidence, and how to illustrate them using a case study. Understanding these basic concepts will help you prepare for the future where you will come across more complex examples such as federated data networks that we will learn more about in future modules. Ready? Let's go! Real-world data, or RWD, is a general term that refers to patient information or data created by professionals, such as doctors who provided care and treatments during periods of sickness, but it can also be you. RWD can be collected from a number of sources, such as your health records, insurance claims, product and disease registries, health surveys, hospital data, and more. And even devices such as mobile phones and smartwatches or social media. For the most part, RWD refers to the data that is collected in non study and non experimental settings. It refers to real life conditions in the real world. RWD is critically important because it leads to the generation of real world evidence, which ultimately improves the process of developing medicines treatments and research. This, in turn, helps healthcare professionals and patients to make more informed treatment decisions. So how does real-world evidence, RWE, fit in? In short, real-world evidence is the conclusion drawn from real-world data after it has been analysed. The findings of this analysis are what we refer to as the evidence. RWE is useful to help us better understand what happens in real-world settings when it comes to real-world data, such as the impact of a disease or a condition on a person, how diseases evolve and change over time, or trends in a certain situation. It can also help us understand the results of a treatment, how treatments can impact results, and help payers or insurers make better decisions about reimbursement. Basically, a real-life example of these two concepts makes up a real-world use case. So, let's have a closer look at one of these real-life examples. In 2019, an international study conducted in 27 different hospitals over five years in the UK examined the effectiveness of total or partial knee replacement surgery. The study also aimed to find out the efficacy of one treatment over the other for patients with osteoarthritis. The study found that both surgeries had similar results, but that the partial knee replacement was more cost-effective for patients with osteoarthritis. OK, so now that we understand the results of that study, Let's look at the RWE method of doing things. The EDEN project used the same study approach, but instead used data collected from several international databases in different countries to compare the two kinds of knee surgeries. EDEN brought together 40 different researchers who had access to these databases and standardized them in a common format. The analysis was performed over a period of only five days during a study-a-thon, which, as the name implies, offers a much faster turnaround time. The Eden researchers then examined the real-world outcomes for those who had a partial knee surgery when compared to those who had a total knee replacement for osteoarthritis. In the RWE example, the researchers were able to discover that there were, in reality, differences between the two surgeries and that older patients showed better results with the partial knee replacement option, whereas younger patients would do better with a total knee replacement option. So what makes this study-a-thon approach so special? It obtained these results using databases of millions of patients in only five days. 
All of the data analyzed were anonymized, so patient privacy was protected. By comparing these two approaches, it's easy to see the advantages of the RWE way of conducting a study versus the traditional way of conducting a study in terms of more evidence gathered, much faster results obtained, and better insights. After following this short course, you should now be able to understand what is number one, real-world data, number two, real-world evidence, and see the concepts in action in a real scenario using a real-world use case study and the difference between them. Now that you understand the basic concepts, in the next course, we will dive deeper into the world of federated data, data privacy, and different kinds of studies. See you next time.